welcome so this is a short uh, react uh, video we shall be working on the react component app so in this component app i have uh, my counter here zero and buttons to either decrease or reset it back to zero or increase so this is a simple project and it is a beginner friendly have fun and happy coding i went ahead and uh did the create uh npx create react app and this is uh the beginner files that we get now let me zoom in a little bit so these are our files that we get and uh i've done an npm start so this is what we have at the moment so i'll go in in my app.js and change uh, make some changes so we won't be needing this now shall we need this so let me create my own div and we build them from there so i won't be using this too I think I want to use the app uh, CSS. Okay, so still on the cleanup, uh, maybe let me uh, render out here uh, an H1 for hello world. So if I have hello world there, so I render out the hello world in my uh, viewport. So let me do some little bit of cleanup. I said we won't need this, so I can delete that file. Mm, I want to use the SGV file. I can delete that then maybe make one change in the index so right now it's saying react app and in the title i would want it to say a counter let me just go with counter app counter app and that's it for the cleanup we won't need a lot so counter app so i'll need to display the counter uh i think in this h1 i can change this to account value let me, let me say it starts out zero and then uh, three buttons so i'll put this in a div and i'll need uh, my first uh, button so oh, let me is not working so i'll have my first button and this is uh, maybe the decrease a button then copy it two times this will be the reset button and here we shall have the increase button So that's it. Uh, decrease, reset, and increase. Now we have uh, the representation we need, so we'll need some uh, styles. So I'll use the state hook. Let's import, or maybe let me just copy this here. I put them together so we can see. And close this a little bit here. I'm working in the app.js file. So I'll import, I use state, and that's from React. So I would get the counter state here. So I have my const uh, counter, then set counter. Uh, that's equal to use state and give it an initial value of zero. So instead of having the zero uh, hard typed here, I'll just uh, call out the, count, the counter. So that still gives me a zero. So on click, uh, let me give these buttons events. So on decrease, on clicking the decrease, on clicking the decrease uh, button, what I, would, what I would want to happen is to get the current account and then reduce it uh, by one. Let me reduce this. So on decrease, uh, I'll call the uh, set counter value. Oh, this has to be counter. So set counter. set count and get the previous value uh, then reduce the previous minus one so that's it if i have zero i go ahead and click i reduce it then on the reset button i go ahead and bring this here put it on the reset button so what i'll do here is just uh reset take it to zero so set counter value I won't be needing this just set it straight to zero so if i do that i get the zero then for the increase i'll just copy what i have here still let's click uh, instead of reducing i would add the one to that so that's it so i think that's all we need for uh 
at least the counter component we need to decrease we need to reset and we need to increase so let me uh, add some styles to it so maybe let me create here our class name and i'll co just call this the main so i have my h1 in the main and i have uh, these buttons here maybe uh, to specify the different buttons i have uh, here the, uh, why not i just call it an id so here i have uh, my id of uh, decrease Reset and then increase and I'll have my uh, class name of uh, buttons in the CBTNs. So that's it. So I'd move to my index.css file uh, that's right over here and I won't be needing this. So I'll go in the body and maybe give it a display of flex what is it going with now? display flex and then just file the contents to the center align items to the center and maybe give it a uh, width of the, the full report and then the same to the height no, not really it's 100 h so that's it and then work on our main class so I'll do the same with the main, give it a display of flex, still justify the content to the center and align the items to the center. It's a main class, not a main uh, ID. So uh, let me change the flex direction to column. So that's it, we have it there in the middle. Then I would work on my H1. Uh, make it slightly a little big not slightly make it very big so that won't work still that would work i uh, work on my buttons so i have a class of btn and maybe i want to give them a border of none give them a margin of five pixels why am i not seeing any change oh btn is sorry btn is the class above so actually i don't need this i work on my decrease id so it has the bit maybe the border let me just style it here now i'll be repeating myself i give it a board of none and then a margin of uh, five pixels uh, increase the padding to Auto. Then, then is to, uh, that would work maybe make the color make the color white and then change the background to green that red if that would work uh, font weight is this 400 okay let's make it 500 um, some border radius to avoid those so i'll go with eight pixels but that would work for me so let me copy this for the other uh, buttons too so i'll have that i'll have that this is the reset and this is for the increase maybe the only thing i'd want to change is the increase is the green green light and then this uh, let's take it back to not very really bright but that so i think that's it for the designs and there we have it we have our counter component and maybe one more thing i would like to add is uh, when our component is uh, below zero let's make it uh, red and then keep it at that color when it's above zero or zero and above so in my h1 i would create i would create some sort of a class uh, that's uh, let me just call it uh, below or neg negative that would make at this sense so i'd make my color red when it's uh, negative so 
which I just have to introduce this class. If I go to my app.js, then here on my h1, give it a class name. Now this would be optional. It will only be when the let me use the string template. When the counter is less than zero, then give it a class of or then give it a class of negative. So okay, it's not taking effect. I don't know why. Class name is counter greater. Oh, I said greater, so this is when it's greater than this must be less than. So when the counter is less than zero, we give it that uh, red color. So, and I think that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.